Eleven Labs Voice Changer Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're looking to transform your voice into something completely different, then Eleven Labs is an excellent platform to explore. Whether you're a content creator, a storyteller, or just someone curious about voice technology, Eleven Labs offers powerful tools to help you create, modify, and experiment with audio in exciting ways. To get started, simply head over to 11labs.io. Click on Get Started for Free to begin the process. You'll be prompted to sign up using your email address, and that's all you need to unlock the core features of the platform. Now here's the great part. 11 Labs actually offers a free-to-use version, so you can explore some of their tools without needing to create an account. If you click on the Platform menu and then go into Voice Changer, Scroll down a bit and you'll find that the voice changer can be accessed without signing in. So there's no barrier to entry if you just want to test it out. That said, I highly recommend signing up. By creating an account, you'll gain access to more features, greater control, and full voice customization options that you won't get in the public demo. Once you've decided to sign up, simply return to the home page and click Get Started. You'll go through a quick onboarding process. First, choose your preferred style or content type. Click Continue once you've selected it, then enter your name and email address. After that, you'll need to input your birth date for verification. Click Next and then let them know where you heard about Eleven Labs and what you plan to use it for. Once all that is complete, you'll land on your Eleven Labs dashboard. This is your central control panel where you can explore voice creation, voice library management, and text-to-speech conversions. Once you've landed on your Eleven Labs dashboard, you'll notice several sections in the main navigation. These include Home, Voices, Text-to-Speech, Voice Changer, Sound Effects. You'll also see access to other products offered by Eleven Labs, which you can explore as needed. For this walkthrough, we're going to jump directly into the Voice Changer. Here, you'll have two main options to get started. Upload an audio clip. You can upload a pre-recorded file of up to 50 megabytes. Record your audio live. This allows you to speak into your mic and generate voice changes in real time. At the top right corner, you'll find additional tools under settings. One of the standout features here is instant cloning, which lets you create a realistic digital clone of your own voice with as little as 10 seconds of audio perfect for creators who want a quick setup with accurate results. Just below that, you'll see a list of available voices you can experiment with. These include both default voices and any you've saved to your voice library. Next, you'll notice a section for model selection. Here you can choose between 11 English, this is the older English-only model, 11 Multilingual, this is the newer model, supporting over 26 languages, including Japanese, Chinese, German, Korean, Portuguese, Italian, and more. For this example, we're going to select 11 multilingual as it provides broader flexibility and updated voice synthesis. After choosing your model, you'll see a few adjustable sliders. Stability controls how consistent the voice sounds. Similarity adjusts how closely the generated voice matches the original voice tone. Style exaggeration enhances emotional expression and voice dynamics. You'll also find options to remove background noise, enable speaker boost to enhance clarity and presence at the cost of slightly slower generation. Now let's go ahead and start the process by recording a generic voice clip. I'm going to click the record button and switch my microphone to make sure the input is clear and accurate. Once that's set, we'll continue with the voice transformation. Now let's take a look at how to actually use the voice changer to bring your recordings to life. Let's say I have a basic story narration like this. There was once a girl who lived alone in a large castle. The girl had always lived there and had never known anything else. What she didn't know was that she could leave the castle at any time, but her evil stepmother never let her go. It's a very simple and generic story intro, something you've probably heard before. Now, instead of using my own voice, I'm going to show you how to convert it into something completely different using Eleven Labs' voice-changing tools. On the right-hand side of the voice-changer page, 
you'll see a list of available voices to choose from. You can also click on Explore Voice Library to open the full collection of voices. From there, you can browse through a wide variety of voice profiles before selecting one to apply. Once you open the voice selection panel, you'll see several categories, saved voices, best voices for V3, voice library, default voices. You can also use the search bar to look for something specific. For example, if I want a childlike voice, I can simply type child in the search field and it will display options like Mimi and Gigi, both of which have energetic, youthful tones. But I want to try something a little more creative and fun today, something with a character-like or animated quality. So I'll scroll down and go into the full voice library. Once inside, you can use the filter options to really narrow down the kind of voice you're looking for. Let's go ahead and set some filters. Language, English. Accent, American. Type, character or animation. Voice, gender, male just to show a strong contrast when converting my own voice. Age, I'll leave this set to any for now. Quality, any. I'll also make sure to exclude live moderation for smoother generation. Now I'll click apply filters and the system will show me a list of voices that match the criteria. One voice that stands out to me is labeled something like tune character. It has a deep animated quality and sounds like a cartoon announcer or hero type character. After listening to the preview, I really like how it sounds, so I'm going to add this voice to my saved collection by clicking the plus icon. The great thing about this is, before even recording or changing any audio, you can take your time to preview, filter, and favorite all the voices you like. That way, when you're ready to record or upload your clip, you'll have all your favorite voices easily accessible in your saved list. So now that I've saved a few voices I like, they'll be quick and easy to find later on whenever I want to use them again. Let's head back into the voice changer section and record a new voice clip. First, I'll go into all saved voices and select the one I want to use. Once that's selected, I'll choose the voice model. I'm going with 11 English and now it's time to adjust the voice settings. Stability. I want this to sound more variable, so I'll keep stability low to allow more natural fluctuations. Similarity. I'll bring this down to around 50% because I don't want the output to sound too similar to other AI voices I've used before. Style exaggeration. I'll set this fairly high since I want the voice to include plenty of dramatic flair and emotion. Now that everything is configured, I'll re-record a short voice sample. There once was a princess living in a tall, high tower. She didn't know she was the princess and the true heiress. The story begins when she was stolen for her magical hair and she spent her life with her stepmother in a large castle. The princess never left the castle and knew no other life. This gives us a short 24 second clip to work with. With the settings in place and the audio recorded, I'm going to click Generate Speech to create the transformed version using the selected voice. Now, keep in mind, when using different voices, the speed of the voice output can vary. Some voices may sound faster or slower, depending on how the AI processes your input. Let's listen to the result. Once was a princess living in a tall, she was step chassel. You can tell that the final output voice is very different from my original voice. That's because the AI model has picked up on the tone, pitch and rhythm of my voice while also applying the selected voice's character traits. This is influenced by the stability and similarity settings. Now here's a quick tip. If you want the voice you chose to sound exactly like that voice and not like you at all, then do the following. Set stability to around 40 to 50%. Reduce similarity to 1 to 2%. This strips away nearly all of your original voice's traits and wraps the result entirely in the style of the AI narrator you've selected. What this does is help you create a completely unique voice output, which won't sound like other AI voiceovers used elsewhere. Since it includes the inflections from your own voice, the result feels original, even when others use the same voice. And that's how you can get started with the AI voice changer in Eleven Labs. The best part? Eleven Labs gives you 10,000 free credits every month, which is great for testing and getting familiar with the platform. If you want to go beyond that, the starter plan costs just $1 per month when billed annually. 
If you go with monthly billing, it's only $4.17 per month. The Creator Plan and Pro Plan offer higher usage limits, with Pro costing around $99 monthly. And if you choose annual billing, you'll even get two months free. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.